Okay. We'll see you at 7. All right. Central Ohio continues to sweat it out in this late spring heat wave. And I want to tell you, it is weather that can kill. Yes, and we've got some dramatic pictures to prove it to you. Reporter Pat Warren watched as our vet, Dr. Don, worked on a puppy that someone left inside a hot car. Heat can be a killer awfully quickly. We went to veterinarian Don Griffith's office to talk to him about the dangers of leaving your pet in the heat. By an unfortunate circumstance, we can show you exactly what did happen to this young puppy whose owners left it in a car for less than an hour. Its owner first attempted to revive the pup herself, then brought it to Dr. Griffith. The problem was they didn't check its temperature as they were dousing it in cold water, and the temperature dropped below normal. And in fact, the temperature when it came to our hospital was below what would register on an ordinary thermometer. Oh, so now we've got to replace the fluids and the shock that the animal's in. Need some tape, Paul. And we've got to uh, try to help this poor puppy recover from the shock that it's in. And that includes warming it up slowly in a baby incubator. So we'll take it in an incubator here. This is, this is a really serious problem. This animal's eyes have already kind of dried out. And, you know, it's actually all the died on us a couple times. I'm gonna give it a crack, right? So, okay. I'm not sure. We gotta get something on that dog's eyes too. Okay? His eyes are all dried out. Unfortunately, the puppy didn't make it. About two ap hours after it went into the incubator, it did die. Now, it's important to remember that although the owners are responsible for their pets, they did not deliberately try to harm the puppy. So it's very important that you take care of your animals the way they should be taken care of. Lou and Teresa? Okay, thank you, Pat. You know, sometimes we just tend to forget that our pets are as sensitive mm -hmm. to heat and cold as, as we are. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, and uh, you know, there are some common sense things that we should all keep in mind when taking our pets outdoors and leaving them outdoors. And Dr. Don is here with us now. The common sense answer, of course, is don't put your pets in hot cars, especially during heat waves like this. But what are some of the other things you can do for pets if you keep them out of the car? They're still susceptible to that hot weather. Well, you don't want to exercise them heavily in hot weather. Mm -hmm. You can get them shaved off in the spring so that they get all the hair off so it's easier for their bodies to cool. You can, uh, you can take their temperature rectally if you want to know what their temperature normally is between 101 and 102. And if it gets over 103, you're, that's a danger sign. Give them plenty of water. Give them some shade. Water and to shade. To stress again, the, the problem here was the, the people in this case got the puppy too cold. What is the normal temperature, body well, temperature for well, an animal? They got it the too dogs. hot. And, then, and they, then, too then, cold. then they got it too cold. They should have called the veterinarian first. Right. And they should have an emergency number somewhere so they can call a veterinarian 24 hours a day if they need help and get some advice. Now, they, they did the right thing, but they did too much of it. Okay, when we say emergency number, of course, we mean your local veterinarian. You can't call the emergency squad for pets. but uh, That's right. Uh, you should have that right up there with all the other emergency, emergency numbers sure. that you have. Check with your veterinarian. If he takes emergencies, fine. If he doesn't, then find somebody that does so you can have at least two numbers there to okay. call. Well, thank you for being with us, Yes, we appreciate it. Thank you.